The first one is going to be Rick uh, adding a banner to the home page and changing the course theme. Uh, Brian commented that Rick's audio is kind of garbled at the beginning, so um, if you have problems with that, uh, do put it in the chat. We will uh, take a look at it and respond and do the best that we can. Uh, we're, this is only the first announced one that we've done, so we're still uh, gaining experience in, in equipment and everything else. Um, uh, Rick is going to talk about adding the banner to the home page and changing the course theme. Rick? Okay, well, thank you everybody for coming this afternoon to our office hours. I really appreciate you taking the time to uh, join us in this session. So today we're going to talk about adding a banner to your home page and also changing the course theme for your course site. Um, okay, so this is um, one of the things that you can do. You can go ahead and add a banner. Uh, this is a picture that I took from the Blackboard website. This is what it will look like when your students uh, log into your course. They will see uh, this picture over here uh, that you have uploaded uh, right above the, the announcements. This little bar in the background, this will be part of the theme and I'll also show you how to change it. Okay, so you can use any image editing software you know, for example, such as Photoshop to create banners. But if you don't have any, uh, PowerPoint is a good alternative. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, uh, how to create a banner in, in PowerPoint uh, maybe in the future uh, office hours. Uh, right now, this is not the topic for today. Um, Blackboard will accept um, a variety of web-friendly images. Um, it's uh, recommended, however, to use a JPEG or GIF format. Also, Blackboard recommends the size for the banners to be around 480 by 80 pixels. Now, now that you have your banner ready, uh, it, the, the way to upload it in Blackboard is that you have to go to the teaching style under customization under your control panel. Okay, so you will go to your control panel then expand customization, and right here you will click on teaching style. This will take you to the teaching style pages, and if you scroll further down, you will see the number seven option, which is select the banner. You will browse your computer for the banner, uh, select the location where you have it, and attach it. When you have attached the banner to, to your course site, you will get a message, a success message saying that the, the style was updated. So visual changes uh, to your course can also uh, uh, come by changing the theme. Um, the themes add a background to your course with images and with colors, buttons, and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, this is where you will find the core theme. If you look at your course site right next to the Go to Student View, you have the theme button right here. So once you click on that button, you will get this drop down. Now, of course, you can scroll all the way down with this bar, and I think you have over 50 different themes in, uh, in Blackboard. Uh, so here are a few examples. This is one of the themes. This is what it will look like. And here is another one. As you can see, they're very different. So you will probably have to play around uh, picking which one you like the best to, uh, to decide which one you're going to be using in your course. Kitam, she is uh, the senior instructional designer from the School of Nursing, is one of the persons that is using the themes and the banners uh, extensively. Uh, they have a series of courses that they have created uh, that they all have uh, this uh, this kind of uh, functionality in Blackboard, and they're, they're using it for their for the teaching. What does it do? Well, it offers a unique look. Uh, the the course can be uh, if you decide to create a banner and change the theme, this will definitely change the look of your course, and it will distinguish it from the others. Um, it will give some uh, visual appeal to your course, and the students probably will definitely uh, notice the difference with the others that they've that they've seen. 
The courses are easier to design. Blackboard makes it really easy for you to change your theme and give it a, a personal touch. Uh, and it also comes with many tools available. That would be it for the themes and the banners. If you have any questions, I am willing to answer them. Does anybody have any questions regarding the banners and the Feel themes? Feel free to type them in the uh, chat area or turn on your microphone and ask. Thank you, Wanda. By the way, um, now, well, now I think it's maybe a little bit too late. I should have asked that before we start. Uh, can you click on the yes, the green yes, or the red no if you have heard about the banners and the things before? So, okay. I'm glad to see that some of you have seen it. Still have a few that have an answer. Okay, Doris didn't do it. Um, I'm glad that uh, uh, that we talked about this. Maybe uh, if you need uh, any help in the future, if you're uh, uh, thinking about adopting this in your class, please feel free to contact me and we can go over that more in details. Okay, thank you, um, Rick. If you do have questions, the participants feel free to add them to the uh, chat window as we continue or at any time. Um, I guess I was going to ask how much do themes cost? And of course, they're free at this point since we're paying for Blackboard. Uh, it also is possible to design themes, but we don't know how to do that. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll work on that and try to figure out. But if you do have at a uh, school or college a uh, someone who knows CSS and some design skills, they might want to try to make a theme for your school or college. 